I guess we're streaming this <laughs> what, the what the hell is this g- Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. What has man created? <sighs> what has man fucking created? <sighs> New game. Man, Colonel Sanders. Well, this is actually a good game. It actually stopped respawning. So I guess, I guess no stream. Oh, fucking your name, fucking. O-S-X-P. Confirm, because that's my name. <laughs> what the hell is this? I mean, also it's anime. Of course. You sleep softly as in the morning. Sun cast a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. The world is peaceful and serene. I can see this. Oh, you wake up from now. And what the hell is that? Anyway, your first day of college, every school is no time to sleep in. Smack! Yeah, shut the fuck up, please. Lying in bed, you stare at the ceiling, thinking about. Everything that awaits the prodigious University of Cooking School Acade <laughs> academically for learning. <sighs> I just, you know what? I've 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 streamed DDLC and it fucking wasn't as weird as this shit. <sighs> Your mind begins to wander. Yeah, like what kind of game am I playing? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Who will be there that co that you will cook th what you- <sniffs> Oh Jesus Christ my fucking sinuses anyway. What should you wear? The time beginnings to fly begins to fly by and you find your imagination getting away from you. You'll need to take this seriously. I need to take this shit- What the hell's this shit? Oh is that my anime poster right up there? Or is that my- <laughs> Oh. Uh. <sighs> I I better make sure to arrive prepared for the first day. You burst through your morning checklist. Teeth e equals brushing. Hair equal comb. Pits deodorized. Nothing can stop now. You grab a biscuit and strut for the front door and head off to class. <laughs> No what? No what? <laughs> oh, no what sound would be great for this eating? <laughs> oh, it just plays the Minecraft eating sound. Standing in the quad, you gaze at the magnificent University of Cooking. It looks like something out of an anime. But this game is anime. Here comes your lifelong best friend, Mar... Mayar... I don't know how the fuck to pronounce that. She's mostly a adorable person that you'll ever meet, and you absolutely love her for it. Good morning, OSXP. Are you excited for the first day of the rest of our lives? <laughs> Gordon Ramsay. It's fucking raw. Actually, I'm... Because I sure am excited, a little nervous. Okay, okay, I have... Oh, oh, oh. What the fuck? Anyway. Is it just that or this morning I made breakfast for myself? But, well, I well I ate it and I couldn't taste any love in the food. 
What? What if I am good? No good. What if I fail? Classic. <laughs> Raised by Master Shepherds. <laughs> uh, I, I can't fucking do this. Anyway, she's always held to herself to a very high standard. Ever since we were little ba babies, babies, <laughs> playing together, and you rescued me from that quick box sand. It's clear that <laughs> you're the most loving and caring person you ever grew to do good. This is more weirder than me reading. Oh, real sad. Oh, God. Anyway. But the university is good. Academics or for learning a famous three-day only semester. I'm afraid of it being left behind and never catching up. We have four more hours of the stream. And it's gonna be a painful four hours. A sweet girl... <laughs> ...has always had a flair for dr the dramatic. This summer she got so nervous about her fish kiss that she chipped a tooth practicing on a mannequin. Should you pet talk, pet talk her or change the subject? Change the subject to school, school gossip? <laughs> yeah, fucking, let's see how many gay she is. Anyway. Oh shit, did I say that? Oh, sorry. Anyway. It's hard to see Miriam and like this, and frankly, she quite exhausting rather than dwell on her anxiety. And you try to change the subject to something more interesting. Like... Like Burger King foot lettuce. All summer you've been hearing rumors about what a dreamy erratic mysterious student who enrolled at this school. Mm. By this time... <laughs> I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna just go BRB, like in the middle of the stream. Walk all the way down to camps. <laughs> And just, oh. Just go to KFC. Yeah. That is a little worrisome, but you'll find be fine. Now, about this mysterious student we read about on the school message board. Any uh -huh. new debts? Oh, get this. I heard the name is Harland, and he's no ordinary student. They say he has powers, and he had them ever since he was born from an egg. An egg? Like a chicken? Don't be ridiculous. But that about having powers, it would line up with some of the others. Rumors I've heard. Like I heard once he fought a bear with just a smile. <laughs> Both, you both sight thinking about a student so handsome that laws of physics <laughs> him a dreamy oh my god how many times am I just gonna fucking straight up just burst out laughing before you can get another word out you're rudely interrupted when someone smacks your books and a custom engraving measure spoon falls out of your hands <laughs> Oh, it's the, the, I, I would I would rather play a SpongeBob dating simulator than than a <laughs> than a Curtis Sanders. Oh, hey, it's it's at Ashley Leg, your arch rifle. She's totally she's totally evil, but you can't help it but to be filled out with jealousy. She can't. She can get anything she wants. She knows it. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Ashila. Ashila. I, I can't fucking pronounce these names. Oh. I didn't see you there. Chicken shins. <laughs> oh. Anyway. You leave OSXP shins alone. Oh, wait, no. Why did I say that in the beach? Um, you, you leave OSXP shins alone. 
they are perfectly normal shins, I swear to god, if this has to go into normal streaming time. If this has to go into normal streaming time, I'll probably save it for another Saturday stream. Uh, you can't stand Ashley. You can't stand Ashley. Like, even her name is annoying. Yeah, it's annoying to pronounce it. You know for a fact that it's actually Ashley. Oh. But she added extra letters to it to make herself feel like. Okay, so it's Ashley. I'll just pronounce it to Ashley. Anyway. If anyone here. If anyone here knows what perfect chins looks like, it's us. We're not going to let you or weird insults getting to us. Across to s you see Ashley's best friend, Van Van the Man. What? <laughs> Has stopped to look at his own reflection in the mirror. His pants are so tight you can <laughs> see him <laughs> gently walking out his working out his glutens while he style his hair no lie. They're rocking glutes. And, and, Van, and, and Van Van. Oh my god, is that a JoJo? That guy looks like someone from fucking JoJo. You. You. You, Ring Ring. Oh god. Get a goose. You've never sure what their arrangement is, but as long as you've known them, them, Ashley and Van Van has just as close as you as around, but. Something more that I know. I need to get some fucking water for this. <sighs> oh. I can't believe the University of Cooking, of cooking School and the Academic for Learning would e never, or ever, allow people like you to attend as students. <laughs> uh, I know, right? You think they would just hand us our diplomas now? Or maybe, hi or maybe hire us as professionals. You amateurs could learn a lot from us. With the first day, with the first day of school about to start, there's just no time to just tell us these two are off. So resist the urge. Let's go, uh, man. Psh. See you later, losers. Oh the fuck! As you approach the door, a goofy-looking kid with a push hard ahead it gets. The window it's next to it. Why the fuck does this kid look like a fucking cat girl? <laughs> uh, oopsies. I think it's broken. You easily pull the door. Pull the door open. Uh, that should do the trick. I love you. I think you mean thank you. Get your facts right, kid. My name is Pop. I'm named after my Pop Pop. He's old. Could someone like this also be a student at the school? He must be one heck of a chef. He also his name tag clearly says Bob, but I guess he's reading it upside down. Hi Pop, I'm OSXP. Are you going to make me hold this door all day? No. Okay, what the fuck? I can't. I'm just gonna do his Porky Mitch voice. I'm just gonna do the Porky Mitch for him. <laughs> uh, and 
the young man walked in the building. Is it just me, or is he kinda cute? I don't think it's just you. You both shrug your shoulders. You gaze at the room. And I'm sure- WHAT THE FUCK IS THAT?! Okay, I- I- This man right here. Anyway. Unsure to sit the other side of the room, the students wander in and keep themselves busy. A scruffy looking pooch takes the place at the podium in front of the class. No, no. Quiet down. Quiet down, everyone. Who is this unreasonable cute pup and why is he in her co- <laughs> Oh. Why do I have Undertale vibes? You must be Sparkles, head instructor of the CEO of the U, the U, <laughs> C S, A L. Please call me Professor Dog. I may be cute and a little fluffy, but I still don't respect a wolf. Fucking furry. Anyway, what? What a cute dog. Dog is our professor. This is what the best school ever. I guess. Only a dog knows is capable of picking all the nuisance, or capable of picking the nuisance of fine dining. I swear to God, what the hell? This train is just weird. Out of nowhere, winds begin to rush down as a swirl of cherry blossom petals fill the air. I'm chilly. Someone opened, closed the door. And then... He walks in. <laughs> uh, immediately sweeps up the aurora of the new student. Of this new student and his remarkable goatee. Who someone who could be so handsome. <laughs> uh, it, I'm, uh, yeah, probably when I upload this on YouTube it's gonna get DMC. <laughs> Ate my games. <laughs> oh God! It's him. It's well. If it isn't my favorite student, Harland. Colonel Sanders interrupts. Brickles, sorry, Professor Dog. Before he could finish his sentence, please, please call me Colonel. Colonel Sanders. A hush murmured the, cl the classroom as Colonel Sanders walked down the aisle desk. Suddenly, there's a sweltering. Sweat begins to beat across your bra- Oh, God! Anyway. And you feel like everyone's looking at you. Not entirely <sighs> alone. Ashley. And who? And you over there must be? Sweaty sweat <laughs> Window back up before the faucet pits melts into a puddle and evaporates everything. Time to watch some children. Anyway, <laughs> you both know my name. We were in the same kindergarten class. What? Is this what really? What all your weird insults? The fucking dog. I just fucking. The dog is just like fucking just sitting there. Take a moment. Take a moment to clean yourself. Oh, oh. oh god, if it gets into a weird territory. Uh, no, I I got I'm gonna have my end stream button up. Actually wait a second. No, I'm gonna have Alt F4 ready. It's a good it's a good thing that you don't forget about the deodorant this morning. This classroom is hot hot hot. Oh that's hot! That's hot. Professor Dog steps in to settle the class down and get some uh, let's see, I want to check the time. <sighs> welcome, welcome to the University of Sparkles, the academy for learning the greatest culinary achievement in the world. The birthplace of culinary legends, past, present, and future. My challenge, my many challenges await you. There will be tears. There will be blood. There might be really adorable teeny food. And when 
all said and done, there will be a battle. Epic Fortnite Battle Royale! And you will be- Okay, no, Fortnite sucks anyway. You will be- You will fit your sports and you will come compete in the Brown Cooking Arena. Just another student. Just then, another student enters the classroom and interrupts the professor. Oh, hey, look. It's- <laughs> Hi guys, hi guys, I'm sorry I'm late. I hope everyone had a good summer, I really miss. Quiet. QUIET! Late to class is bad enough, but you're interrupting my monologues, you're on the fast track. But here, out of here, young man, are you sure you're even in the right place? Don't you, don't, don't you recognize me? This is my third year in this school, and with you as my teacher. Everyone stares at him blankly. Does no one remember me? I'm Herb expelled. If you other one more word, you're expelled. If you other one more word before I finish, let that let that be a lesson to you students. That tardiness is un it's unacceptable. Anyway. Life, holy shit. Even Clark made it here on time, rolling halfway across town on his teeny wheels. You turn to see student Sparkles is referencing who appears to be some sort of industrial. <laughs> oh, can't you this? Oh. Let's see. Anyway. This man. The class burst into laughter. Oh, Clark, you rascal. Sparkles walks into the classroom as everyone stands in silent obedience. When you get gets to you, he lifts his nose up in the air and takes a deep sniff. Your diet is lacking. Based on what I'm picking up here, you definitely need a multivitamin and you should be taking better care of yourself. You've never had a talking dog as a teacher before, but Sparkle's reputation for it being but thought is taught as well. What do you decide to try by giving him a treat from your pocket, but what kind? I guess chicken, because that's what this game's about. You reach beneath your apron and return a chicken snack in your hand. Sparkle's eyes go wide as he locks on to you. His favorite. Well, well, I think, I think you might be in some competition for a new star student. I'm the furry professor <laughs> immediately devours the snack, leaving your hands with a coat of warm doggy drool. Stay hydrated. You want to see the other students eyeing you jealously, but no pain in your mind. If they wanted to succeed in life, they should have learned the importance of carrying a range of dog treat flavors on them at all times. Settle, settle down, you chiefs. Take your seats and prepare your minds to be open at the possibility of reading creations. As everyone rushes to their favorite seats, you're left standing in the front of the room with only two options. <laughs> oh. Hey, OSXP, sit here. It seems that no one has claimed this seat next to me, if you're interested. Sit by best friend, sit by Colonel Sanders. That's <laughs> all so I can do is. Oh. You move the seat by Colonel Sanders. It appears he has brought no books, pens, or pencils. However, his perfect upright posture sits off seriously. That makes you confident. I'm only choosing that choice. I'm only choosing that choice because. Because I need viewers. Thanks for. Thank you for offering me this seat. I have, I've, I've only had two rules. 
do all do all you can and do it your best you can it's the only way you ever got that feeling of accomplishing something that's so expiring <sighs> we're we gonna get done with the stream anyway a little bit off topic you ask me but okay as soon as you settle in your seat the professor makes an announcement i have an announcement to make Think fast. It's time for a pop quiz. Yay! 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 A quiz about me. This is incredibly important. Important. Surprisingly short quiz. You'll tell me if you're ready for life at culinary school. Keep your knife sharp and focus sharper. For question one. If a train is traveling to point B and traveling and train A is traveling to point A, how important to wash your hands before cooking? Extremely. Because fucking shit, I, oh, I do that a lot. I wash my hands like 24/7. The forest is to keep. It's the forest is to tree as chicken is to. Feather. So I know about chickens. What is the most what is the most effective efficient eating utensil ever created? A commercially oversized fork. That's wrong. Yeah, because sports are fun. Sports are bad. What is the best food for best for? Anything that's prepared with love and not too much salt. That's right. Is Sprinkle a good boy? No! That's wrong. He's nothing but the best. Three out of five. And your total score is... It's no perfect score. It's no perfect score, but at least it's not a compliment in other harass. You catch Colonel Sanders eyeballing in, his reaction is hard to read. You may have your attention, students. I have an announcement to make. Shut up! Shut up! Oh no! No, I can't say it! Oh god! <coughs> Fuck, I'm dying. Oh, Jesus Christ. I think my fucking lungs are gonna be fucking hurt. Oh my god. Oh! It's just peaceful. I don't have to read anyway, Time for lunch. Wow, the cafeteria looks as nice as any restaurant you've ever eaten at. It makes sense that a school dedicated to cooking would have serious about eating. A delicious fragments of wafts through the room and tickles the end of your nose. Your mouth waters. What the fuck does this chicken do? I don't want to touch it. Anyway. Do you smell that? That must be our lunch. It smells crazy good. Everyone, can I have your attention? Oh god, this better not be a lunch. What? It, is it about... Is it lunch? About lunchtime? This guy's actually... Porky <laughs> this guy's actually... <laughs> uh. No, I just want to apologize for my tardiness. I just want to apologize for my tardiness. You see, I was... Howdy, folks! I'd like to make an announcement! <laughs> <laughs> hey, I was... Hey, I was... It's about lunch! Everyone cheers. But I... Lunch? Lunch? She said shh. In honor of a new semester, for, uh, for of the new semester, I have prepared something special to share with everyone's lunch. Aha! Uh -huh. Hey, anyway. That must be, that must be the smell I smelled. Indeed, that smell. 
You hold your breath, waiting to see what food mysteriously the students have created. And you've heard it's very talented, but where are but were the rumors true? This is Colonel Sanders lifts a large bucket above his head and the content glimmers in the light. Piled high are pieces of chicken, breaded and fried, a crisp of gold. <laughs> the aroma envelops you, and you begin to feel warm and safe. Colonel Sanders has a filled bucket with chicken. What a novel concept. Your stomach begins to grumble as if to say stop thinking and start eating. For years, I've been developing a secret recipe for my perfectly fried chicken. My calculations, nothing less than 11 herbs and spices are required to achieve perfect balance and flavors. You look around and notice that every other student has a pen and paper and as, as they can. Oh, no. But that's all I have to say about that. Oh no, it's the JoJo people. <laughs> I like to call these, I'm gonna call these two the JoJo people because they look like somebody from JoJo. Well, actually she doesn't look like somebody from JoJo, but, but, but this guy looks like somebody from JoJo. What? 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 You, you think you, what we want is your stupid secret dub? Nah. nah. My dude. Oh shit, it is getting JoJo anyway. I just, uh, drafting a last will and t testament. In that case, uh, one of those ingredients, uh, poison, I got him. <laughs> he looks around. <laughs> He looks around nervously to see if anyone else is laughing at a sick burr. You wait to see what zinger Ashley has prepared to follow up, but she but she takes it a different approach. Yeah. Yeah, I was just writing in my diary. Dear Diary, today I smelled something beautiful. I knew that moment I only had the hands of a true gentleman of fried chicken so tender. <sighs> you see her body language change from a bitter and evil to sweet and innocent as great. <laughs> She's like Colonel Sanders. She realizes that designed for his greatest and her fame cooking skills it's this she wants mm. it all to himself oh please mm. 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 well van van the man man if if you're if you're if you don't war, if you don't worry anyway, I'll take his. Whoa, well, hold on. I mean, I guess I'll try. He takes one bite and his eyes glow wide. He starts cortating his face and he tries to put a reactive pressure. Easy now. There's not enough. There's enough steps for everyone. Please, my following classmates, dig in. <sighs> you take one piece of the fried chicken out of this bucket, and it sinks in t teeth into. Mm. <sighs> what time is it? Oh my god. I'm torturing myself here. It's amazing. Tasting Corona food transports you to another dimension. 
Alone, alone with your taste buds, a gripping drumstick in your hand, you float weightlessly. Swim towards the light. Somewhere up, a bright light beckons you. The flavors are so intense that you wrap them up. You wrap up in them. Unable to resist, you reach for the light, grabs your hand, and pulls you closer. Until your fingertips connect with the end of everything, you are forever lost in the in the land of tender fried chicken bliss. Your mind dissolves. There's there is no OSXP now. There's only herbs and spices. So what? This entire uh, this entire OSXP now. Skylar OSXP has now it's now fucking herbs and spices. This is lore. Okay, this is lore. This is OSXP lore, anyway. Throughout Miami, Mer Merrily tries to revive you, but she can't. I swear to God, if everyone comments. Game over. Try again. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. You fucking die? Oh, shit. You fucking die? What the fuck? Yeah, I'm not reading it. Uh -huh. Oh shit! Oh god, I'm wa I'm watching the stream. So, oh fuck! Oh god! So gotta skip all the way to here. There. You let the f you let the food flow. I should have actually ended it. If this game over one more time, I'm just giving up. <laughs> you let the food rest in your mouth, and it focuses on scr scrutinizing every flavor. Salt, maybe? Pepper? Too obvious. Oranigo? But dill? Maybe, but something else. Something dark, something spicy, deeper and deeper. Yes, even deeper still, till you find it. Could it be... Redacted. Even really did the bold flavor on how adventurous to use. Redacted. You try to get deeper into the sea of flavors, but revelation is more... You snap out of it, realizing the information we was met with will remain a secret yet you know that the metal <laughs> you realize that everyone in the room is consumed by lunch and has noticed that you've traveled through space and time whoa lord after tasting its food you try someone some one-on-one -on -one time with Colonel Sanders oh no it's getting into weird territory you approach Colonel Sanders. Colonel Sanders. Sm oh, wait, why the fuck am I speaking in his accent? Yeah. Ever so softly, you approach him, and he stops and see what he's doing, and he allows you to break the silence. Colonel. I was... Colonel. Colonel, the clap of my ass cheeks are... Colonel. No. No. The suit... Colonel, I'm dummy thick, and the clap of the my ass cheeks are alerting the guards. <laughs> anyway, Colonel, I wonder if I can talk to you for a second. Anything for my fellow chef. What exactly was on that chicken? <laughs> uh. <gasps> ha ha ha. How bold do you come out to ask? It's an idea establishing a new combination of flavors will make me my fortune and establish my legacy for all the time. As I open a chain highly successful fried chicken. No big deal. This is not how KFC started. It wasn't some weird dating sim. <laughs> it was some weird, weird, weird high school anime high school thing. No, I think it was like something like, like he, uh, I don't know what the full story is. I read it, I heard it one time, but I forgot about it. It's just you and me here talking about uh, talking I can 
keep a secret. In fact, I've gotten one of my own, and it will be to trade. What's the rush? The semester's only getting started. We've got two more whole days to to know each other. He's clearly not gonna give it up easily, but I'm gonna hurt to <laughs> for for Cecily. <laughs> You know what to say about secrets, Colonel? Colonel. Colonel. You should Aww. learning to be fun. You've got Moxie. Uh, I'll give you that. <sighs> Colonel Sanders looks both ways to make sure you're truly alone. Then leans in. You can feel his warm breath as he whispers. Just one ingredient in that, but I can't tell. I use re redacted. It's still something my great grandmother taught me. Redacted. Wow. You'd ever guess that, in fact, you're not even sure where you'd get some if you searched. Redacted definitely isn't the flavor you tasted before, and you your two ingredients closer, knowing that the full recipe. But you don't tell Colonel Sanders that. God, I fucking hurt. Well, you're wrap. Well, you're wrapped up in a huge revelation. You notice that Colonel Sanders has disappeared while everyone in is still in the cafeteria. You decide to look for him. You find Colonel Sanders outside standing. Oh, oh, it's you again, howdy. Sometimes, I like to come outside and look at the school building and I think about it, my whole story. You'll continue after I've graduated. Sounds sounds like a, you have a big plan. I dare say, I dare say, the biggest. I will leave my mark on this world. You can't bet on that. Alone together for the first time. Figure out this is the perfect moment to show your personality to. I just wanted to tell you that I really enjoyed your food. <sighs> now that you've got his attention, the flavors were complex, but flavoring the interplay between the savory and it was perfect. I appreciate the compliment, OSXP. I'm sure you'll be a big success. I I know we only met today, but I'm starting to get something feeling about you. We should head back inside. The next lesson starts soon. This better be getting to some severe cooking. You, sh you step into the massive cooking arena. Fortnite, no. Is this Fortnite cooking royale? Is this cuisine night? All the tools that you can Look at this place. It's magnificent. Finally, we get to show off our stuff. Wait a second. Oh no, we have to show our stuff. What if we totally blow it? We're not gonna blow anything, except maybe kisses to the crowd of fans. You're gonna earn your signature. Adorable teeny food creations. Welcome students to the cooking arena. For today's lesson, we will be cooking with partners. Hurry up and pair off. 
Naturally, naturally, Miriamie looks over at you, but uncontrol unable to control yourself, you put pounce on Colonel Sanders. Hey, Colonel, would you like to tackle this lesson as a team? A team of two? That is me and you? That wasn't cl if that wasn't clear, want to be my partner? Aww. She's crying. I swear to God, if this turns into DDLC, like the make. If this just turns into DDLC, I swear to God, I fucking. I'm legit just not gonna fucking play this game anymore, anyway. Sure, OSXP. Sure, OSXP. I'll prepare our station. Without you as a partner, Rami left standing all alone with two different students to take notice. Hello, partner. It's... Hmm. Oh, my. My two potential partners. I'm sorry, gentlemen, but I don't know who to choose. It looks like you have to pick for her friend's duty, but it looks awkward alone. I need a fucking robot. Sorry, Pop, but I think <laughs> I think Miriam will be partnering with the robot today. What the fuck does she? He looks like a fucking cat girl with that face. It's okay, I already. Ate. It's not entirely clear if Pop has any idea what the point of school even is at this juncture. <laughs> to have some attention and heats up. Rup, rup, rup. Hold on. Hold on, fella. We don't even know what the assignment is yet. Technically, Clark might not have a face, but something charming and earnest about it. This. Tissue? Tissue? I hardly know you. Uh, Clark judders and a panel shook loose. You get the impression that this is a sign of affection. <laughs> looks like it looks like you two will be fine. Now it's time for you, your own cooking classwork. I'm probably gonna have a sore throat tomorrow. All right, you two. For today's lesson, we're gonna keep it simple. Pick up picnic dish. Divide up. No, chef. No chef is time. It takes two flints to make a fire. Good idea. It takes two flints. So there's two flints. So does that make it two Lucas's? Two clauses? Okay, that's a Mother 3 reference. And, and, and we're almost getting to the Mother 3 stream. After I'm done completing Half Life 2 Episode 2, I'll probably start streaming Mother 3. Which dish do you suggest to your partner, Colonel Sanders? Octopus will. Bl oh my god, no. Yes! I've always been something of a down home cook. I thought we could make something warm, inviting, comforting. Maybe mashed potatoes. <gasps> and, gr and gravy! I couldn't imagine one without the other! That's what I actually get. Colonel Sanders cast a coy look at you, causing your whole face to go beat red and embarrassed and quickly turn away. Yeah, I'm embarrassed by the stream. I'll go get the potatoes. No, please let me. Picking the perfect produce is a passion of mine. Oh, looks like looks like we're getting pretty fresh around here. Does anyone have a crush on Colonel Sanders? We're just cooking partners. Mind your own business. Sanders heart. Sanders heart is my business, and you keep fingers. You keep your fingers off my man. Don't you have? Are you dating the JoJo guy? <laughs> uh, Van Van. Van Van's Bizarre Adventure. 
Did somebody call for me? Uh, no. Oh, no, jeez, damn man. Well, I'm over here crushing those sex in dreams. You're supposed to be taking care of our class, but that was the deal, remember? His crime. From the Sanders returns. An arms full of peeled potatoes. And he's into boiling water and his attention. To your old friend, old friends. Well, howdy, Ashley and Bam Bam. Are we working in a court quartet instead of a do it now? <laughs> this is freaking looking good. Uh, actually, no. It looked like OSXP was struggling, so we offered him to give him a hand. And you know that these young amateur chefs. What the deal? Well, modern. That voice. This is some edgy ass. I was Don't be rude, Van Van. <sighs> personally, personally, I have no doubt. Personally, personally, I don't have no doubt that I'm going to sign this board to constant vibrations. Mary, after all, your fight is quite spectacular. Oh my god, I am. But here, but here, if you ask, I might be a partner. This thing that is positioned itself at the stage. Don't you think? Don't you feel deep down that we can cast a compliment shadow to fit like a thigh and a drumstick? Makes sense. Nothing's making any sense, but one is clear that she's coming for Colonel. Every time I say Colonel, I'm gonna have to say say it like <laughs> like Solid Snake. Oh. Don't watch out, Colonel. Only when I'm speaking, though. Ashley is going at you hard. And you need to throw some back up here before it gets ugly. Oh guys, if this turns into Earthbound. Uh, oh god. Turn, turn to Colonel. Turn to Colonel Sanders, but how to how to do time with me. I'm here to learn and express myself via the scenes of no better than Ty McDonald's. Partners were choosing at the beginning of the class. Let's all respect that format. Turn to Colonel Sanders and confirm you're all on the same page. I choose Colonel Sanders, and Colonel Sanders chose me. Isn't that right? A business man respects all fair agreements, from contracts to handshakes. I took on, uh, I took on our sex as my partner for this activity, and I stand by it. Based on your team's behavior, I'd say you're. You're perfect for each other. Neither you has their OSXP talent or their work. Being defended by Colonel Sanders is a feeling of a pound full potential. Like her fucking vision. You look for Sparkles and hopes he might step in. But he's nowhere to be seen, dog. Those cute corgis and their short, stunning statues. <laughs> oh. You look down at you, look down at your station, and realize that the tension of the moment, you, your hands, hands, your hands have 
Ben cooking on autopilot. Distracted by the drama, you're already crushed with the boiled potatoes into a perfectly creamy mash texture. Plenty of butter and cream for the flavor. It's as if your natural potion guided through the steps you know so well while oh, it was everywhere else. I know what to do. Colonel Sanders extends his hand. He's holding a beautiful white pushy gravity gravy bow out of which he a smooth brown gravy smoothing nearly finished potato dip. Gravy flows down the mound of mashed potatoes. Why does this feel like ice cream sometimes? Mashed potatoes. The results of spectacular granny would be proud. Colonel Sanders holds his spork out to you and you reach and grab a, <laughs> grab a hold of it. But he doesn't immediately let you go. The two of you stand, stand holding the same spork. And for that small moment, all the madness. This better be the end of the game, anyway. Jesus Christ, no. Fucking. Shrill, I swear to God. If somebody has good editing skills, can you please have an anyway counter? Does your eyes lock? The moment electric. Every time it stills. If you, if you love something, set it free. Together, take the utensils into the swear. She lift a heap of a spark full up. When you see Ashley with a sinister look, you know she's plotting against you. I fucking hate this anyway. And then And then with rain with Out thinking you fill the spork of mashed potatoes right into Ashley's stupid, beautiful face. Fan, fan. Fan, fan, do something. Ay, 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 da, 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 da. <laughs> I just started blasting out JoJo Awakens. I'm not going to probably play that because copyright music. Scoping up a finger full, Ben Ben takes the dripping mashed potato and gravy and realizes it's delicious. Horrified by this revelation, he slips away. Will he ever be able to cook something with so much love and integrity? Hold it, hold it on right there. For a you do not waste food in the room of cooking over Colonel Sanders, I expect from you better. You throw one more spoonful of you. We both be prepared to eat from whatever it lands. Can I have? Can I have potato face? Ben Ben rushes back towards. So you're approaching me. <laughs> so you're approaching me? Oh, okay. No, how much JoJo references? Oh God. That's potatoes. That's Pathetic. Just in just a few minutes, I'll have a sort of fully peel based upon my spit. Raise a technical of an octopus with my silk salt water sauce. Planted on a battle axe blade. Forged by its green GF ancestors. You've been broken. You've been broken. That's it. It's his eye. We'll have the first bite and we'll look on the screen. The working student rushes at Van Van and swipes a bite of his signature dish right off the plate. No, don't! No, don't! Something about the shoe that I'm trying to is right. I think the octopus was rushed. I think it turned into the process. The results could be toxic. Too late. It has been eaten. Now this guy dies. This is die. This better be edgy. Actually, no. I hope it's not edgy. Um. 
I left something in the oven. I don't. I don't feel so. Oh God, no! <laughs> I don't feel so good in this <laughs> Oh, uh, Thanos snapped! Oh, uh, this is just—it killed him. Oh, go oh, oh my God! What the fuck am I watching? Jesus Christ! Everyone, everyone, step back! Don't take another bite. Don't take. Oh no! Please, don't kill him. Look back at the plate. The rest of it is gone. You just notice the tip of the tentacle. the tentacle being slipped in Pop's mouth. Pop winces in pain for just a moment, almost immediately back up to his arm. So. Oopsie. Tastes like poison. The entire class gathered to watch Pop's final moment. The stock as he was frozen in the cold crowd. Krell rings, disturbing the moment, slapping everyone back to reality. Back to reality! Oh god, I need to stop singing these songs. I'm gonna get copyright tracked anyway. It would appear that Pop's enthusiasm would be trying things despite the obvious danger. You're inoculated him against the poisons of all kinds. Sh I'm not sure professors here will make enough money. Ghost of student. Hello. I turned into a ghost over here. Seeing the shaking up, one student, and all this nonsense, Colonel Sanders. Oh, <laughs> oh God! I think I just hate that shit. <laughs> oh. Skyler fucking dies on stream. Local live streamer named Skyler OSXP gets. <laughs> it was fact. <laughs> it's so edgy anyway. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We had to go through that. Let me walk you home. What? Like for real? Come on, you follow Colonel Sanders out of the room. At night, the school building has taken another vibe entirely dark and a little bit more spooky. Colonel Sanders stands in the quad's neon glove and speaks softly. Those smashed potatoes you made in class today? Before you go, I want you to know they're not a great representation of my skills. I did I didn't even realize I was making them. They were they were amazing. Tasting them, it reminded me why I became so passionate about food to begin with. Colonel Sanders is getting choked up. Cooking is obviously important to him in a way that you find expiring. Now you might might be the perfect time to tell him that you're developing feelings for him. Colonel Sanders? Yes, I was XP. There's something <laughs> There's something that I have to tell you. <laughs> Hold it right there. Oh no. <sighs> There's something I need to tell you first. I swear to god, they got inspiration off this character from JoJo. I swear to god. I swear to god. They got they got him based off of JoJo. I swear to god. Oh, jeez. You see. You see. You see, when I was a, just a boy, I had a dream that one day I would be the greatest chef the world would ever see. Every day since... Since I've been working for that dream day and night, I never stop resting and also lifting a lot of weights. So many weights. We should follow our dreams with our of our hearts that our soul may grant. With the wishes. Coming <gasps> through. Hey, hey no you. Shut up. Shut up, I'm the only one here with its <coughs> stuff. And be the star of star of the story. 
Fan Van's Bizarre Adventures. Are we forgetting your cooking? Literally killed a guy? You can't hmm. prove that. <coughs> <coughs> I also saw you kill that guy. What was his name? Somewhere in the distance you heard a long... Forget him. We're talking about me. 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 I'm the hero. Oh, God. oh, what the fuck is that thing? What the fuck is that? What is that? What the fuck is that? Spork monster can have no one. Fight with me. What a fucking barf. I left the fridge to later, nerds. <laughs> uh. How dare you threaten me? Letting me down my guard, connecting with another chef on an emotional level. Be afraid, be afraid of. Damn, I'm fucking dying, and I think I just woke up my nerves. Is he rhyming on purpose just before discussing it? What? End it off here. Time for tomorrow. I might actually like to this. Here's the magics. Inside. Signed Barkill on him. I think I'm gonna end off the stream. But you don't have to pull under a single. Good night, my colonel. <laughs> See, so yeah, I think that's the end. I'm probably not going to live stream this game again, unless uh, YouTube wants it. <laughs>